Hi, my name is Kat Kerr, and today we're making these simple solder charm nuggets. Super easy to make. Items you're going to need for this tutorial. A 100 watt soldering iron with heavy duty stand, a salmonock block, gel flux in a cup with brush, lead free solder, safety glasses, a soldering board, tweezers with wood handles, and all of this on a cookie sheet as well as off to the side a fire extinguisher and a fume fan. Always make sure that you're working in a well ventilated area. Now before I get started, I do have to make some jump rings for the charms. I'm using 16 gauge copper tinned wire, which is just raw copper with a layer of solder over it. I'm using a round plier and then I'm just making a coil out of the wire. Then I'll individually cut jump rings to use on the charms. Now that I have everything I need, the iron has been plugged in and heated up. I'm going to use the tip of the iron like a knife. I am just tapping the rod of solder and melting it. And as you can see, it all clusters together, creating this little ball of solder. Uh, in this state, it's molten and it's it can be uh, manipulated. Um, you can. Um, you know, adjust the shape a little bit, but for the most part, you're going to get an organic looking charm. Um, you can create large ones or small ones. Just keep in mind that um, the larger the charm, the longer it's going to take for it to cool. Next, I'm adding some flux to the jump ring. Then I'll place the jump ring on top of the solder um, ball and I'll use the tip of my iron and gently tap it until it covers the, um, the jump ring. I want to embed that jump ring into the ball of solder. Um, once I do that, I want to wait a couple of minutes, try not to move until the piece is cool. Now here's a nugget that I made that I wasn't crazy about the shape. So I added some flux to the top, cleaned the tip of my iron, and then just remelted the solder um, until I reached a desired shape. Keep in mind that these are very organic. There is no set shape. So every time you do it, it's gonna come out different. Once your pieces are finished, clean them thoroughly with soap and water. I like to use a toothbrush to get all of the black residue off. Uh, if you happen to have a tumbler, throw them in the tumbler. If not, you can also shiny them up by using ultra-fine steel wool. Now you can leave your nuggets blank or you can add some texture. I've gone ahead and taped down my nugget onto a metal block and I'm using metal texture, metal design stamps to add some texture. You can also use the ball side of a ball peen hammer to add some texture, or even letter, uh, metal letter stamps that you can put your initials or a small word. Solder is really soft, so you don't have to hammer it really hard. Just a couple of gentle wax and you'll be able to get a nice design. Now you can highlight all of your, all of that texture with Novacan um, solder patina, or you can do what I did in this case, which was use vintage patina, which comes in an assortment of colors. You just paint it on with a brush, make sure that it gets into all the little grooves of texture that you made, let it dry, and then you're going to wipe it off with a little bit of steel wool.
I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope that you also try to make some simple soldered nugget charms. They're really fun and easy to make.